I am Benny Pizotchini. I'm Moses. Right, Moses, the rate of insecurity in the country is alarming. It's crazy. It's on the high side. And you've been bothering me for a couple of months now. So I'd like to get your view on the solution to this problem. Mm, if we should look at it very well. I see uh, we need more, uh, what's it called? More men, more uh, uh, forces. Like, I mean, the army, the soldiers, and uh, the, the policemen. So, you know, to, like, for example, the uh, attack that happened to Apostle Slema is an example of what we are fa- facing in this uh, environment. Especially if we should look at the uh, um, mechanic site, that place, in fact, is so alarming. We cannot even go out at 8 o'clock in the night itself. We are scared. So, we, we need more of those forces in that area. And, Especially street lights is very important because there will not be any attack under the area of light because yes, that's all. Do you have a PVC? Hundred percent. Oh, so are we voting for APC for the pure labor? <laughs> <laughs> the old department engineering has obedience. We are obedient. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I am Benny. Please, what's your name? I am John. John, please, the rate of insecurity in the country is alarming, and I would like to get your view on the solution to this problem. Okay. Oh, I would likely say the insecurity of this country, yes, truly is alarming. The most thing we just firstly need to look at is uh, the aspect of the youth first, because as I say, the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. We need more security. One, there are some youths that sometimes when they do things, they need people to remind them. What I'm saying is, when you are doing something wrong and you know there are securities around, because sometimes you may go astray, there are securities around that can just, once you see a security, your mind will calm down. You understand? And apart from that one, let me go again from the aspect of the transport. It's also connected to that security of a thing. There's something that happened this period at Jetu Road, Jetu Junction there. What happened was they blocked the road due to uh, the bad roads we are having. And what I observed there is when they are blocking road because of bad road now and the place is tied, there's nowhere to pass. There can be easy way for insecurity to come out. So if the government is, up, or, uh, I mean, working hard, there will not be such a thing. You understand what I'm saying? So I believe we should look into these things when they say insecurity should not only be, uh, uh, should not only be something you just be thinking is just uh, arm robber, this one. It starts from somewhere. So look at where it should stand from first, fight those areas before you now talk of when the action is going on. So that is just a little I have to say about it. That's a lot. You said little. Anyway, do you have a PVC? Yeah, of course. So who are we voting for on the upcoming election? APC, PDP or Labour Party? Oh, wow. I've been waiting to answer this question. We're going for obedience. Really? Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. You're welcome.